Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with me. If you are just joining me for the first time, I'm Nikki, and we are sewing things for your friends and family. It is the first week in November. You know what that means, it's almost the holidays. So what we are going to do today is we're gonna work on a project where um, you can start to prep for the holiday season. Grab your stuff. Let's get started. Um, I've always had these matching stockings in my family. So we all had these nice, cute, fancy stockings. And I decided that this year I was going to give in and let my kids have individual stockings. Okay, they're big now. <laughs> but um, so what we're going to do today, I'm making a stocking for my daughter. <laughs> okay, so you can grab the information below and um, this way you'll be able to follow along. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we are going to do, um, I have my, um, my material set up here. We're going to first prep the um, interface. Now you can use felt, you can use um, any kind of batting you want to. If you want to use 100% um, batting, you can do that. I'm using fusible fleece. I don't want to have to worry about pinning anything, whether anything is shifting. It's just easier for me that way. Um, so I'm using fusible fleece and I'm going to adhere it onto um, both sides of my stocking, the wrong sides of the fabric. Okay, so I'm just going to prepare this right here. This one as well. Okay, we're only using uh, fusible fleece um, on the outer batting not on the inner lining okay so I'm going to adhere this now I am not going to quilt this stocking you can quilt yours if you want to by quilting, I mean, if you don't know what that is, if you're just joining for the first time, by quilting, I mean where you're putting the diagonal lines across one way and then sewing the opposite way, okay? Quilting is just a method um, for you to hold the batting in place. Um, it does give it a nice look. <laughs> it takes a little bit of um, extra work but you can put different designs on the top of the fabric um, if you would like. This is another benefit of using the fusible fleece. I don't have to worry about the fabric shifting or becoming separated from the interface because it's fusible. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Yeah, if you're using 100% batting, um, like 100% uh, cotton batting, or if you're using, um, let's say like a polyester batting or felt, it will shift if you do not um, do some type of quilting for it. Okay. I don't wanna have to worry about that. Okay, let me move this a tad bit. All right, so Halloween is over now, and so <laughs> this is it. We are going to start prepping for the holidays. I am putting together a video for you guys of um, things that you can sew for your friends and family in under 20 minutes. So I'm going to have a video out with that. And I'm also going to have another video for you for the holidays, things you can sew, you know, in about 30 to 45 minutes. So keep your eye out for those videos, okay? And some you can actually do with scraps. Okay, so I've prepped those. So now what I wanna do, okay, I'm going to work with one right now, okay? Oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab the two pieces of the small um, interface. I'm going to find the inside of the casing fabric and I'm going to adhere 
the fusible fleece to one side only. Okay. We may as well, since we have the iron on. <laughs> okay. I didn't want the casing to be super thick, so I only wanted it to adhere to one side there. Just one side, okay? All right. And I'll go ahead and do the other. Sometimes I like I like to prep. Um, this way I don't have to go back and use the iron so many times during the, um, during the process. This is the other casing. Okay. I didn't have to worry about folding under seams here. <laughs> and so, okay. Um, I'm just gonna iron this part. So we already have a pretty edge. Great. What else? Um, oh, let's take this tab portion since we have the iron on <laughs> and we're going to prep for the loop. So I'm going to fold it in half just in case some of you don't know. Okay. Sometimes, um, you know, people just sew for the first time around the holidays. I'm folding in my raw edges to the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to fold over. I'm creating the loop that the stocking is going to hang with. Okay. And then we're actually going to be done with the ironing for right now. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're ready to sew. Let me put this to the side. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and take the, um, the casing piece, okay? And what we wanna do is put raw edge to raw edge. Let's put that there, place it there. Go ahead and either pin or clip it on. I'm going to use my handy dandy clips today. Okay. And do the same thing for your other. Okay. All right. Now, I wanted to tell you guys, um, if you do not like a pattern that you see online, there are tons of patterns for stockings online, <laughs> um, if you can get them for free. But if you do not have um, a pattern um, that you like online. One of the things that I like to do is I like to go to the Dollar Tree and sometimes I will grab something from there just because it's a dollar. If I see something that I'm like, hmm, I'd like to make something like that, um, better quality, of course, <laughs> I would take that item, meaning get like the dollar stocking, cut it open at the seams and remake it, use it as a pattern, okay? So you don't always have to buy the store-bought patterns, okay, or wait for them to be $1.99 on sale. You could actually, you know, go and use something that you already have or head to the Dollar Tree, okay? I wanna show you something real quick. Um, I ended up getting, I'll show you this right here. I ended up getting um, this from Joann's back during COVID, okay? Um, they have these patterns, these things that you can buy, um, that you cut them out and they create something, okay? I got this for, <laughs> no word of a lie, I got this for 70 cents, okay? And so um, I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna use this pattern here. That was cheaper than going to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> but the point in mentioning that is that Although I didn't like what this was, I knew that I could actually use the pattern there, cut out the pattern in order to create something new. And I knew I wanted to make stockings this year, new stockings, you know, for my family. So um, if you don't find what you need, you know, at the Dollar Tree, um, pay attention in the fabric section because sometimes they have these things that has the patterns, okay? And during COVID, that wasn't bad. I mean, it was 70 cents a yard. 
So, okay. Um, back to this. <laughs> Let's start off with the tab, okay? Now that we've prepped those pieces. Okay. What we're going to do, um, take your tab and we are going to sew down both sides, the left and the right, all the way down um, an eighth of an inch. Okay, so close to the seam. We just want to make it, give it a nice finished edge. not too worried about back stitching it's going right inside of the raw edges okay I sewed close to the I sewed close to the edges okay so you see all right so now what we're going to do you want to make sure that you have coordinating thread for whatever you're sewing um when you do cut if you purchase a whole yard of fabric you can fold that fabric in half okay when you fold when you fold it you could actually get about three stockings from one outer fabric of course you need the lining but um if you fold it in half because this height is not even look at this it's not even 18 inches so if you fold it in half look at this so you see hold on, let's see this is um oh there's the one down there <laughs> so this is um you know at the tip 16 inches okay so you can actually fold this in half okay um cut once okay but you're going to get two um two of the patterns but then when you open up the fabric again you can use that middle portion to cut another stocking so all right what i'm going to do okay i'm leaving this pinned i'm going to flip this here so that i can do a nice pretty top stitch okay an eighth of an inch I just didn't want to have to re I didn't want to have to repin or reclip Okay All right and now All right I'm going to do the other one Okay I'm just putting a decorative stitch on the casing. Some people choose not to um, put interface on their casing. I wanted my body, I wanted the thickness of my casing to be consistent with the overall stocking. That's why I'm putting um, interface. I wanted it all to be the same thickness. All right. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So now what we're ready to do, um, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and base stitch the top. You know what? Let's do that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's base stitch the top just so that it doesn't um, go anywhere. You can take off that, all right. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Okay, so what I wanna do is we wanna put Pretty side to pretty side for this. Okay, pretty side to pretty side. Leave that casing down. Okay, 
pretty side to pretty side. Make sure your pieces are lined up. Okay. Don't worry about that tab yet. We're not ready for it yet. Okay, we just prepped it. Um, if you need to pin or clip in more places, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just randomly placing some around. Again, that's why I said that I like to use the fusible fleece so it doesn't shift. We're going to sew all the way around, all the way around, and you're going to leave the top open. Okay, so do not sew the top of this. Okay. And I'm sewing at quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, let me just say something really quickly. I know mine was even, mine is even, but I wanted to tell you. Make sure when you put your um, casings together that you make sure that your casings line up together, okay? So that you make sure they're like this, okay? You don't want them to shift and be like this because then on the inside of your, look what would happen um, when, you flip your, when you flip your stocking, okay? You see they're not even. So you wanna make sure that when you actually put them together, that they are even, okay? I'm gonna put mine back. I knew mine was, I checked it um, right before I sewed, before I put it in, but I forgot to mention it. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about the curve. Just follow your sewing line. I mean, follow your sewing, your fabric edge. A curve is just the curve, but you still have raw edges that you're following. And if you need to, go slowly around the curves. the love over the casing. Okay, that top is open. Okay. Clip some of the, make some snips. We want to clip some of this bulk um, around the curves. Okay. Be careful when you are making these snips, these little snips here, that you don't go through your stitch line. Okay, so at the heel of the stocking and then at the foot. Um, in the next video that I post, I'm going to give you some ideas for quick stocking stuffers that you can sew. Um, that you can put into these, you know, or for friends and family. Okay, just snipping around those curves so that when we flip it, um, and um, it will help the fabric lay flat on the seams. So go ahead and turn this right side out. Okay. I know you have a raw edge right there. Okay. So don't worry about that right now. So where we clip those corners, I can um, 
I'm relaxing the, t the seam inside and it's not bulky. It helps that seam lay flat. And so you can go ahead and flatten it out. Okay, just giving it a little bit of heat. This looks really good. All right, good. I'll iron it all later. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the curves. Okay, I'm just maneuvering it here. You shouldn't have to get your um, you shouldn't have to get your chopstick, but if you do, go ahead. If you didn't clip it enough, okay. All right, so let's put this to the side for a moment. Now keep in mind, I know you still have that raw edge there. Okay, let's get your lining. Okay, so lining should be. Let's put it pretty side to pretty side. So that's my pretty side. Yep, okay. And that's my pretty side. I love to use solids as linings if you haven't figured it out. We are going to, you can mark it or you don't have to, but let's just leave, um, let's just leave a gap <laughs> for turning. Don't leave it on the heel because that's harder. So just leave a space here, you know, a few inches. Okay, you can leave about three inches there, okay, for you to turn it. But what we're going to do right now, you can pin it if you want to or clip it if you want to. Um, it's a little thin for the two layers right here, thin for the clips. But um, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the outer lining. We're going to start at one end, so pick a side. Um, you're gonna sew all the way around, except for those portions where we're going to leave open to flip this, okay? So all the way um, up to the top on both sides. You're going to leave this top open, okay? All right, make sure that you backstitch when you are, um, when you are stopping in the middle okay you don't want to not backstitch and then your threads come out when you're putting the entire stocking through that hole okay i'm gonna stop backstitching and then move now we're gonna continue here All right, all the way around. to do the same thing that we did with the outer portions. We want to clip at those curved areas. Okay, just make sure again that you're not clipping into your stitch line. We want to clip these because we didn't get any bulk inside when we flipped the outer um, fabric and that was nice. It wasn't bulky and poofy. It's the hair. It makes me look all poofy. <laughs> I'm doing the heel. We could actually make some stockings for other family members. Okay, so right now we have um, our inner lining and we have our, our, our outer. What we want to do is take the right side of your um, of your stocking, okay? 
we want to go ahead and stick it inside of the lining. So we are doing right side to the right side of your, of your lining, okay? So squeeze it up just to get it in there, okay? We wanna make sure that you pull it over the casing, okay? So over the casing. Line up your seams. Okay, I'm gonna line up these seams here. Do, 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 do. Make sure you put seams facing in opposite directions. So that's facing that way, that's facing the opposite direction. Okay, now I'm going to continue. I want this to lay flat in here. Wonderful, nice, okay. I'm going to pin the opposite seam, okay? Your stragglies, if you have stragglies, just make sure that, you know, you try to get them, ah, you're always gonna have stragglies. <laughs> just try to make sure you get the long ones um, to stay inside of your project. Okay, I'm gonna line up these seams, okay? I like to see them, okay? Put them facing in opposite directions. And what we are going to do right now, we are going to sew all the way around the top here, okay? So what you might have to do, okay? You might have to take off the, um, the extension part of your machine, okay? Um, you know, if, you're, if, you're, if the opening can't fit, um, take it off the arm. Um, grab that tab that you have, okay? And you're going to fold it, okay? Oh, I'm gonna snap my stragglies. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna put that, you can decide based upon, you know, whatever your fabric option is. What we wanna do is we wanna put the, put the loop, the tab, inside of the seam right here so that um, we want it to go at the back of the stocking, not at the front. Because when your stocking hangs, you hang it from the back side, right? Not the front with the curve. So we want to stick this in here. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> All right, so stick it in there. And you want the raw edges coming out, okay? The loop should go inside, okay? All right, now line those seams back up. All right, and since I'm going to start with this, I'm not going to reclip it. Okay, all right, so loop is inside, and now what we're going to do is just fit your stocking onto the arm. Okay, all right. If you need to switch to your walking foot, go ahead, but push the button there on your presser foot. It helps you go over um, bulky fabric, okay? All right. Be sure the back stitch. Going all the way around. What I'm doing is I am helping this to turn. As I'm sewing, I'm actually pulling it underneath um, the cuff. I'm pulling it or sliding it with my, with my other hand to help it so that um, the fabric stays tight, okay? I'm gonna backstitch over the seams. I'm crazy about seams. If you get used to this now, then you'll be really good at seams when you start sewing pants and skirts. <laughs> I have a habit of going back and forth over seams where I think um, <laughs> they might need a little extra love. And depending on what you're putting in that stocking, when it's hanging from that loop, it needs extra love. Okay, here we go. Back at the beginning. I'm giving it extra love. All right. 
I'm looking at this and I'm like, ooh, Christmas colors. All right. If you're using a light color um, lining, you definitely want to go ahead and cut those stragglies so that you don't see them. Okay. Haha. <laughs> All right. Go ahead to that hole um, that we left, the little opening there. Okay. And what we want to do is squeeze in from the bottom, squeeze in the bottom of the stocking. Okay. Pull it out through that hole. All right. Turn the bottom. All right. And get that bottom of the lining. Pull it through. Okay. What we want to do is just stick your finger inside and make sure that um, we flatten out those seams in there. If you need to use your chopstick or poker, go ahead. <laughs> okay. And now what we want to do is we want to close up this lining, close up that hole. Okay. I'm going to close that up. And because I left a good size seam allowance, it's naturally closing there for me. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Now, if this is important to you, change the color of your thread to match um, if you want. Okay. I'm leaving this as red for the purpose of the video. Okay. You can use flannel. You can make stockings with felt. Um, there are so many options. I mean, you can use chiffon. You can have nice, beautiful, fancy stockings. Okay. Um, I'm all about the novelty fun print. And so, <laughs> all right, I'll fix my little teeny tiny. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. I got it. <laughs> teeny tiny threads. Okay, so now we're going to stick this lining right inside of the stocking. Okay. All right. Sticking it right in, right in the front. Get it down, all the way down. Wonderful. Everything fits beautifully. <laughs> I always tell you guys we're going to top stitch everything. <laughs> and so, okay, let's um, let's get these seams pushed down. You see how my seams did want to fold. Um, they want it to, they want it to, you see how they're sticking up right now? Okay. We do want to do the top seam. We want to force it down because otherwise they want to, they want to um, push forward. Okay. That's why I always tell you guys we want to top stitch. See, they want to come up by themselves naturally. We need to force them down. <sighs> so you can just iron, but... We're gonna go that extra step because I'm always talking to you, ouch, theme. <laughs> I'm always talking to you about quality, right? And taking a little extra time. I'm gonna force that down the seam. Okay. And one more, we're gonna force down the seam. Okay. Yeah, that seam was kinda hard. Okay. See, technically, right now, it's um, it's down. So at that point, it's an individual choice um, whether or not you want to do the stitching. I'm gonna go ahead and do the stitching um, just because it's going to coordinate with that stitch line that's there. Okay, and of course, it's gonna hold down. Um, it's gonna hold down that seam. So of course I'm starting at the back because I always start at the side or the back of a project. I'm going one eighth of an inch. Okay. T 
take your time and you're gonna have to help it out because it might be tight around the arm, okay? The cuff might be tight. stitch does give it that nice matching uh, that nice matching look okay back stitching all right and this is where you of course you're gonna cut off your stragglies Okay, so this is our final project. This is how our stocking looks. This is pretty simple for you to make for yourself. You could actually be done with this in under 30 minutes, all right? So if you have questions, put them down below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you back here for the next video. Oh, stay tuned, you know, make sure that you check in for the next video because I'm putting together that compilation of things that you can sew. You're gonna have two separate videos of things you can sew with scraps, things you can sew, you know, in 20 minutes or under and 30 minutes and under. So I'll see you guys for the next video. Seriously, like gauging your project. <laughs>